Wednesday, and I'm back from the gym. Got up and went to the gym, and I did 40 minutes on the bike, level 15 hills. No surprise. <laughs> I didn't sleep well. I did not want to go. Well, I, I woke up okay. I just didn't have a lot of energy when I got there, I guess, is more the thing. But it's done, and I'm glad that I went. Um, yeah, not a lot of thoughts today. I just watched TV on the on the bike. I didn't uh, didn't get all introspective or anything, so I don't have a lot to share. I did not go to the gym last night. Um, after getting laundry done and doing all that, and with after having stood. For so long with the the waiting for the bus and on the bus and then walking and everything, my back was not happy with me. And so I just stayed up, stayed in, didn't go to the gym. But that's okay. Um so yeah, I don't have like a I don't have anything in mind for today as far as what theme for the podcast. I might just uh I might just go back to standard wellness stuff and motivation. That could be. <laughs> um, because, yeah, the microbiome information was just, it was too much. It's just every, it's all over the place. And, uh, and so, yeah, I might make some minor nutritional changes or additions, but I think it's more than I can uh, manage as a regular civilian. Um, and I don't want to do mental health because... I have enough of that right now. <laughs> um, I am going to try, I think I've got a list of therapists in my neighborhood now that I got yesterday, and so I'm going to call around and see if I can't uh, find somebody who's taking new patients and make an appointment for some time in the near future. We'll see how far out they have to schedule. But, um, so yeah, so the progress there, and uh, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. Green juice, small plates, show up. Oh, it's Wednesday after work, and I'm home. Coming home went really well. I had to run for the bus. And I can run for the bus. I am thankful that I can. That I can run for the bus. And that in, when I'm on the bus, I can also recover my breath. So that was good. I mean, I can't stand and walk for long periods, but at least I can run for the bus if I have to. Um, so yeah, getting to the bus uh, promptly is important, I think. This bus, like the one the other day, Monday's bus, was totally fine. Not jam-packed full of people. It was able to get to my house pretty rapidly. But if I wait until closer to rush hour, then I end up with a jam-packed bus that crawls down the road. And so, uh, so yeah, so easy commute home. And nutrition. So I had, I was so hungry this morning. By the time I finished my early morning call and got to the kitchen for breakfast, I was like starting to feel a little lightheaded. <laughs> so I was starving. And they had a fresh batch of bacon, fresh out of the oven. So the whole place smelled like bacon. So I had my egg whites and my green juice and also a piece of bacon. And then at, it was almost 11, and I had an RX bar, which you can see the ingredients in the video. They're really straightforward. There's um, egg whites, nuts, dates, and this particular one was maple and sea salt. And it smelled like pancakes when I opened the package. It was amazing. Um, and that was really yummy and filling, and um, I think it's 260 calories. 
but um, I did uh, compare nutrition labels with the other bars that we had um, for sodium, sugars, and looking at ingredient lists for wheat as well. And that one didn't have too high a sodium, but it also didn't have any wheat. And so that one, and it was yummy. Uh, then at lunch I had, what did I have? I had a little, just a little chunk of chicken, not very much chicken. That was a weird sort of brown looking lump. It was cooked in a sauce. And then I had, uh, they had a salad with kimchi in it and um, big chunks of heirloom tomatoes. And they had roasted uh, vegetables with like broccoli and cauliflower and peppers. And then they also had a stir fry veggie that had baby corn and carrots. Um, everything was spicy today. Like the stir fry was really spicy, but um, but it was good. Um, and then later in the day, I had sweet potato chips cooked in coconut oil. So the new snack vendor is doing pretty good as far as healthy options. They have things that are cooked in alternative oils, not just standard cooked in vegetable or peanut oil stuff. Um, which is good for me because standard vegetable and peanut oils irritate my stomach. I cook with olive oil and that does okay, but standard vegetable oils can irritate my ridiculously sensitive stomach. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I had a snack. I don't think I'm going to eat dinner. I might have a broth if I want, um, because I had so many snacks during the day. So, um... I've been doing the fruit and like maybe a piece of chicken, but really small dinner things, and I kind of like it, like just loading, front loading my day with my calories and then not worrying about it for the evening. And so, because I had those snacks, I think I'm just going to skip it all together. Um, that's my nutrition today. Listen to a few podcasts today. It was a good podcast day. I have lots of notes. I have four pages of notes. Let me get myself together. One of them that that obviously rings true for me, um, and you've heard me say, is what am I grateful for in my most difficult memory? And how did it help me become who I am? Or happier than I might have otherwise been. And so that one I liked, it reminded me of the one that I was always trying to keep in mind. As I'm struggling, I try to think of aspects within this current story that are positive to keep me going. But I don't think about necessarily aspects of the most painful past stories that are positive that have maybe built aspects of my character that I like or given me the courage to make choices I might not have otherwise made. And, um, and so, yeah, so I think I want to reflect on that a little bit. That's a good one. And then um, a lot of the subconscious stuff talks about the therapies around subconscious subconscious work, talk about how important it is to find happiness in your current moment, even while you're working on your past issues. Because anybody who's gone through therapy knows that it's really painful work. But your brain won't want to move forward and heal if the work is all just bad. And so you will create new subconscious barriers against your own progress in your therapy if you do not make attempts to enjoy the process of fixing yourself. And that was an interesting <laughs> statement because I have had periods of my therapies that have been extremely painful. 
Um, and in retrospect, the ones that were most effective were during periods of my life where I was supported better by people around me, and that might have helped the process feel more positive because I wasn't completely mired in it. I had happy distractions or encouragement that continued to make it a positive experience. And there were times where I had therapy where I was more, I had more solitude and I didn't share my experience with other people because it was so personal and I didn't have a support system at the time. And those, those processes were less productive and I didn't last as long. I couldn't keep going. So I think that definitely says something. So even if you don't have a support system, if you can pull back and find the positivity in your current moment, in this day, in this afternoon, in this minute, like what's positive right now, um, then you are more likely to be able to sustain your therapy and your therapeutic process. That was wordy, but you get what I mean. Um, and there was almost every podcast I listened to talked about the necessity of that. And so, um, so something to keep in mind is that you have to enjoy the process, and I'm going to try to keep that in mind for myself. But I was happy to get some ideas on what kind of questions I want to ask a therapist as far as um, techniques and what kind of expectations I can have about working on a subconscious issue. I know, that th I know the memory, but I know that it's having a massive subconscious uh, impact, and I've never really tried to dig into doing a change to my subconscious. So this is a different kind of direction. And that's all I got. I think I'm going to plant some plants I got the other day into some pots. Uh, depending on how far I get, I may show you. We'll see you guys later. Have a good night. Okay, so the plants are done. I've cleaned up my mess and I even washed the windows. So all of the fruit fly evidence is gone. That was such a mess. They were all over the windows and so I had to clean the windows in a hurry when I first got back from Portland, but I didn't have any actual window cleaner. So I did it with regular, like, multi-surface cleaner, and they were just so smeary. So that's finally done, and the plants are in. Let me show you. So there it is. We have a nice tree. Big succulent in the white pot. The herb pot is still going, so I'm, ho I'm okay with that one. But the tree is pretty, and there's a few little succulent, succulents in here, too an aloe and a couple of little multicolored succulents. So these are nice and low maintenance, but they give a good amount of green for the room and I like that. So there we go. Gardening done. See ya.